Good morning, sir. We are the group 7, reporting empanage structure and configuration. First, what is an empanage? The empanage is also known as the tail section of the aircraft, which is composed of the tail cone, horizontal and vertical stabilizers, elevators, and lastly, rudder. It consists of the entire tail assembly, including the tail fin, the tail plane, and the portion of the fuselage to which these are attached. Empanage structure. The first one is a tail cone. The tail cone serves to close and streamline the aft end of most fuselages. Stabilizers. It referred as the fixed surfaces that help to stabilize the aircraft. Third is the elevator. The elevator is located at the rear section of the aircraft, specifically on the trailing edge of the horizontal stabilizer and is attached to it. An airfoil that manages the aircraft's pitch or the upward and downward motion of the aircraft along the horizontal or lateral axis gives the nose the ability to pitch up or down. The fourth structure is the rudder. It is located at the rear section of the aircraft, specifically on the trailing edge of the vertical stabilizer and is attached to it. An airfoil that manages the aircraft's yaw or its movement along the vertical axis. It provides directional control and points the nose of the aircraft to its desired direction. Hello guys, this is Kyle Alid speaking. Um, we are going to talk about the empennage configuration, all the types. So first of all, uh, we will start with conventional tail. So what is conventional tail? The most common known design wherein the vertical stabilizer is placed at the tapered tail section of the fuselage and one horizontal stabilizer which is divided into two parts, one on each side of the vertical stabilizer. So second one is T-tail. The horizontal stabilizer is mounted on top of the fin, creating a T-shape when viewed from the front. T-tails keep the stabilizers out of the engine wake and give better pitch control. For our third one is cruciform tail. The horizontal stabilizers are placed at the center of the vertical stabilizer, giving the appearance of a cross when viewed from the front. Fourth one is H-tail. It is comprised of one horizontal stabilizer in between two vertical stabilizers. And the fifth one is V-tail. The two tail surfaces play the roles of both horizontal and vertical stabilizers and each has a movable flight control surface called as a rudovator. This represents combined use of a both ruder and an elevator. Sixth one is Y-tail, an extension to the V-tail and a has an extra surface located underneath the aft fuselage. The lower surface inherit the ruder, while the upper section inherit the role of the elevators. And the seventh one is twin vertical tail. It shows two separated regular horizontal tails, which are parallel vertical tails. It also improves the overall directional controllability of an aircraft. And the last one, eighth one, is boom tail. It is composed of two longitudinal booms. Boom tails support the tail surfaces and structure and may act as fuel tanks. So that's basically it. And thank you guys for listening.